that. That's a very important question. And um, the, 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 the book, The Revenge of Power has a whole chapter on, uh, on that, uh, on the notion uh, that, that politics is not delivering, uh, politicians now in power has to have to go, que se vayan todos in Spanish is, you know, throw them all out. And uh, anti-politics is we don't believe in the politicians, we don't believe in the private sectors, in the bankers, in the journalists, in the clerics. Clerics, we don't believe in anybody. No, nobody is reliable. Uh, and again, here polarization and feeding polarization also helps. Uh, is anti-politics is not you know I don't want to play by these rules, and that opens the the the, the space for charlatans, demagogues uh, that again come and promise. Uh, the, the, a big example of this is Hugo Chavez, of course. He was the new face that the Venezuelan people wanted because they were fed up with the governments that they had. They wanted more. There's an explosion of uh, demand for better public services, for example. And he did not do much to deliver that. And so the, uh, the, the, all the, the way to do this was to feed polarization and denounce uh, rivals, make them into in a, in illeg illegitimate enemies and all that. And that's part of this of the menu uh, when you have this situation. But uh, the, the whole notion of anti-politics is a very dangerous current because instead of getting, you know, people are hungry, they have an appetite for new faces. The newcomers, the people that have not been tainted by being in government or close to government or the centers of powers or have benefited from uh, corrupt regimes, people, there is a huge, huge hunger for decent, honest, competent government. And that's not coming through, you know, so the, what you have, if, given that you don't have that, you cannot satisfy all these high expectations of the people, then you have to rely on populism, on polarization and post-truth.